No, you look like a big girl. Now, I'm going to tell you the story of when I found you and when I saved your life. So what happened was, I first saw you when you came up to my doorstep. Yes. And you were starving and you were very thin and you had boils on your back and I saw you drinking out of a palm leaf. And I knew that you didn't have a home. No, you didn't, did you? So sit down while I finish the story. And then, I look at your fatty belly now. So, I gave you some food and some water. Even though you wouldn't come to me, I would watch you eat it and drink the water. And then the next night you come back again. Yes, you would. Sit still while I'm telling you a story. And then, after a few weeks, you'd come inside and you began to trust me with your big... Yes, you did, didn't you? Let me get you back. You began to trust your mummy. Yes. You did. But you didn't like men, did you? So you had to hide under the bed. When a man came in the house, you had a good hide under the bed. And you'd only come out when they're gone. You would. And then, finally, <laughs> sit down, I'm telling you a story. Oh, we've sat on my foot now. Finally, you decided to come out from under the bed after six months. And now, uh, look at this little baby. Oh, oh yes, I'm washing my ears. And now, you're my mum. And this is the mummy that saved my life. Yep. Sure did. Didn't I? Yep. And she's a beautiful baby. And she's never done anything wrong. She's so lovely. Demi. Say hello to the king. Hello, mummy. Wave. Can you wave? Wave your paw. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, pause. No, I might scratch. And that's the story of Tam Tams. The rescue fatty.